Well, I seem now to recall why I favored Link to the Past for so long. It's pretty easy to go from dungeon to dungeon. Hello, Invitreus. Today on Misery Mire, we're going to leave the Wing Dungeon, but in order to get to the next dungeon, we need to go on a quest to find two items, and then a third. And then it's a bit of a puzzle still to get to the next dungeon. Yeah, this is going to get kind of long and not really that tricky, but let's go. So let's get today started. At a Wing Dungeon, we're going to go away. Up here. Let's get rid of some of these items so it's more fair. I think this is the last area you start to see uh, NPCs. Well, and we're starting with our favorite NPC, Meeple. Let's just run into her. Yeah, I did it on purpose. What are you gonna do about it? So that, so that. how much money you actually need to get through this game. Um, there are some mini-games you will have to play eventually, but not today. So, we need enough to get through those. Okay. This... I, I don't know, lady. We, we have a lot to do today. We need to get a raft. Oh. Here's how they get you to not go to the next place. They put a little gap here that you have to jump over. Actually, in reality, you need to do a lot. This is Chervil. He's researching items to be used in water. Before I die, I want to finish my work on the flippers for swimming and rope that won't decay in water. I hope to aid all the people of the world by inventing such things. A rope that won't decay in... Oh, hey, Ralph! Hey, Ace! Looking for something or what? A rope? Conveniently, this guy's name on it. Oh! So, I guess we're gonna do some grave robbing today! Guess technically nothing new. We found the white sword in Zelda 1 back under a grave. Um. And you got the invisibility cloak from, uh... Link to the Past in a grave, too. It's actually a pretty big Zelda, Zelda tradition to just take things out of people's crypts. Well, I guess technically if you consider the, uh, dungeons, that's all we ever do. And we also... Ooh. Okay, what is this? Yeah, 30 rupees. Nice! Okay, go this way. Burn that bush, although... That was stupid. Why am I wasting stuff? Okay, so back to the graveyard. Okay, one tree doesn't... Ugh. I wish some of the stuff would just stay down. Turtle's grave is all the way over there, and we can't exactly... Maybe I can! Okay, we can't. We can't exactly make that jump. We're gonna need some help. Okay, these guineas are picking on this bear with wings. I wouldn't mess with the bear! But they're already dead, so maybe that's why they're doing this. And they decide to go after you as well. So, much like level one, just punch them out. Come here. Ah! Okay, this is not going very well. Okay, I need to win this because I actually never really planned what to do if I lose during these overworld sections. And I don't know if I do bloopers or not. Let's not make that happen. Put your 
eat so much meat. Okay, the ghosts are gone. This is Moosh, one of three helpers in this game. Um, it's pretty much their big selling point kind of thing. And it's kind of weird because they don't really do much. Moosh here can hover. I want to say Moosh is a spirit in Smash Ultimate, isn't he? I think all three of them made it into the, the spirits in Smash Ultimate because Smash Ultimate generally just picked people they had uh, uh, artwork for. From like the manuals. Uh oh. And we're back to I did not plan to die in this video. Although to be fair, I don't plan to die in any of the videos I do. It just sort of, you know, happens. Okay, water, water, everywhere, and I can't swim. That. We'll open this door. And then Moosh flees. The Moosh. We got flippers and a rope. All we need now is the rest of the clue weapons and we can finally win. Well, I guess we do have a sword. Nice. Whatever. Actually, as I look at it, bombs were going to be in clue, but it was removed when, before they made the, uh, uh, final game. Uh-oh. Probably because if you used explosives in a mansion, it would be a little less questionable on which room the murder took place in. Clearly, recording is not going well. can't swim in the ocean yet. I guess the undertow is just too much for Link's flippers to handle. Where am I going? You know what? I have it all. Maybe if I go back to the past. When in doubt, retrace our steps. I don't know. Don't go this way, because that's actually a dead end. Brilliant! Keep 
thinking we're almost done, at least. But I know there's much more to do once you get to the island. Okay. Trouble rope, I can finish the raft. And have the rope, please. Okay. Sweet, we have the raft. Time to go. We need a chart. What? Ah. Well, at least we can save for a minute. So I don't redo that part. One moment, please. Okay, so this guy... You know, it's kind of stupid that we need a chart for this place, but let's go look what we can find. And we found Ralph. Does he have a chart? That'd be really nice. I've beaten two dungeons, what the hell have you done? Weird guy selling charts. Oh, why do I have a really bad feeling I know who that is? Nah! <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> really silly, although. Could. No. No, it can't be. Look, either way, we have to go back to the future. I have a prediction that I'm going to say that once a damn episode. Maybe more in this whole show, this whole, uh, run. Hey, go away. What, you can't record off the game? Okay, this game does not play in the Super Game Boy. And I'm learning, and, uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where we're going. I don't even think the guy's on the map. But, let's play the song. The present day Lin. Lina, actually, isn't it? Lina Village, Lin City? I guess it should be Lina. And here's some ember seeds. Kind of important to make sure you get those things, um, every once- at least once, maybe? I actually do not have, um, uh, the thing yet, so worry about it. Okay, we need to get... And oh god, it is him. Uh, Tingle. I do not like this guy. Apparently that's an American thing too, by the way. The Japanese love him. And for anyone fearing your Smash Brothers games, he's no longer an assist trophy, so he could easily be the next DLC character. Minus the fact that I know they already probably leaked a few people. Still, it can totally be him. And that was Ricky, Ricky the Kangaroo. Anyway, Ricky wants his gloves, they're on the beach near the tree. Were all these rocks here before? Hey, one and done. Hey. Okay. We need the feather to get back there. Make it so I can't get through the dang bushes. Those are really just there so you don't go off on the adventure before getting Nehru kidnapped. Okay, Ricky's ability is he can jump these cliffs. And we already have an item able to do this, so that one's kind of weird. And the way that gets us to tingle. And we're gonna need to cut him down somehow. Uh, yeah, we don't get forest fairies in this game, tingle. That's a that's a 
3D game thing. I don't like this guy. Sure, I'll be your friend. This is just a time killer, because, um, the island is, like, three screens off the coast. <laughs> it's not like the... And Ricky bolts because he doesn't like Tingle. Oh, I still can't get out of here! Oh, I don't know if that means we're gonna have to go see him again, because... You get an item to ricochet off walls eventually. Or the seeds off walls. Well, Ricky done, we got the C-chart. Yeah, the Milton Island's three screens down from where I'm at right now, I swear. The Great Sea, this is not. Although maybe it is. Ooh. Actually, the Great Sea's on a totally separate, um, thing. There. I need to go back to that rafter in the past. Come on. Yeah, you know what? Let's do a little exploring here. Okay, this is the uh, Pharaoh, the god, god of hell. Oracle of Secrets. She was supposed to get her own game, but she got kind of screwed by the fact that Nintendo did not want to piece together three separate stories with this. So this is where they put her. Uh, if you have secrets in the first game, you can give it to her, and she'll give you items in the first game. I don't have any of those, so we're not going to worry about that. And up here, we have a fairy room with nothing in it. Weird. Uh-oh. You know what? Why not I stop? Ooh. And a fairy to heal me. This is starting to kind of lose control of my system. I'm going to put us back on a little more out of here. Okay, let's get out of the big tree here. Down the ladder! Okay, why, why do I keep opening up the uh, menu here? Probably because I keep being really paranoid that I need to uh, check my uh, frame rate. The last time was stupid because I should have grabbed the harp while I had it open. Okay, in the past. This will be the last time uh, for a little while. Anyways, I. Seeds. Okay. Let's at least get to the island this time. Okay, this guy's wondering what took me so long. I'm kind of wondering the same thing. Bear in mind that you actually don't have all the time in the world here. The Harp of Ages can only actually send you back 400 years and forward 400 years. 
so technically time is still moving forward as you play this game. I mean, I'm pretty sure with proper tuning, like if Meru had it, she could set it up to, uh, work. Now, the raft actually is an old Zelda 1 item. Uh, it did not work like this, as it generally just went from dock to dock. And it often didn't get caught in storms like we're about to be. Storming so bad, there's monkeys there. Oh, you thieving little jerks. Well, this is a nice introduction to a race of from Zelda that's largely ignored. These are the Tokes. You don't see them in any other game but this one. Well, they appear in the other one, too. In, uh, ages and seasons, but only shortly. I already screwed that up. Can I even get that? Okay, you can't swim yet, and you couldn't swim before anyway. Man, being heckled for stealing a shovel. Oh! Yeah, this is one of those things that's different in the game if I played it without the plus part of it. Uh, this is Rosa! You date her a bit in Seasons. Good thing you did too, because she hands you the shovel. I believe without her, you just go talk to him and he hands you the shovel. So yeah, see, this is the long process of getting all your stuff back. With the shovel, you dig up some things. Independent woman, so you don't have to wait for another day. Good for her! We use the shovel to acquire the sword. I'm pretty sure the sword says property of Link. Return to Link. Quick puzzle for you, if you can figure that one out. I actually can't. At least not with all my inventory right now. Okay, sword and shovel. I feel like I can take on anyone. Sabrosians almost have the same type of introduction, where you meet them and they, like, instantly steal your stuff. But I think that's actually the third or fourth time you go to Sabrosia where they do that. We can't make the Gorons steal from you. We need them for other games. What if these are owned by Capcom, actually? They did make this game. And don't see them in any other Vert game but this. Okay, the Sabrosians actually are kind of cameo in this Uncle Rupee's Rupee Fest. I'm running out of topics for over there, though. I believe one runs the shop. So these seedlings grow with time. Like 400 years time. Okay, we're gonna go to the more village part of the island. Here, House of Clay Pots. Nothing more. Okay. Chicks and bombs. It's getting to the point where I can't remember if I had bombs before this, which I must have. Okay, I can't quite remember. Oh god, here we are. So this guy's got two of my items. 
but he won't give you any of them. You have to trade your shovel for one of them. Better pick well, because if I don't, this can take forever. So let's start with the, the rock feather. There was some holes I can jump over. We'll start there. Oh, and you can't trade to get both items. The Octorox. Okay, we need pots over here. Huh. Bombs. Okay, so I could have just came in here through power bracelet. Okay, so I need a power bracelet. I have chosen poorly. part is he doesn't just allow you to switch your feather with the shovel with the with the the feather for the thing you have to trade back and forth okay let's go up here and I can't get over there uh, it's a much later game item we're gonna need we're gonna need to get over there. Kind of a mean thing to intersperse with this trading sequence. Let's check this thing out. Okay, I can't get over there. about this area over here. See into this one. And I can't swim with the flippers. Okay. So where am I going? What did I miss? Over here? Aha! This guy. Okay, so that guy is guarding the nursery for the seedlings. I just destroyed a seed. Patch. It's in here. Nothing useful. Ugh. Okay, we're trapped on an island, and I can't remember where to go. Great. Nope, 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 dying is not good. Just go back to the trade store and we'll go from there. back and I'll wander around. Maybe I'll figure it out. <sighs> I need to get to that guardian. Okay, I had a lot of trouble recording, so we had to reset the entire system a few times, actually. So, um, a bit of problems jumped us to here. Luckily, I, I pieced together with all the issues where I was going, so... Hopefully, we'll be back in there in the next five to ten minutes. I 
Give me the damn thing. I was right way back when you're supposed to use the power brace. Did you know what I really screwed up? And as I watched it again, I realized how badly I screwed up. Back over here. Yeah, I can't blow my way through those two blocks, but I can push these two out of the way and make it to the uh, staircase over here, which gets you the bombs. Do, do, do. Up there is just a gasha seed. I, I actually had to replay this because my, again, my recorder went out of prints. But, what doesn't kill you, takes you longer to realize what you're supposed to do. Okay, here's the mini game we have to deal with called the Wild Toke. He'll give you a seedling sapling spriteling. Rewind, a scent seedling. Throw in the scent seed. This mini game can be a pain in the ass. Throw the meat to the showcase as they appear. If you miss one, you lose. Pretty much, you need accuracy down. I don't want to say to the pixel, but if you drop one piece of meat, you're mostly screwed. Now, yes, I did that all my first go. But I also earlier mentioned this is not the first time I made it this far. <laughs> Roughly at this point is when it kind of just jumped 200 frames or something like that. This time we're going to keep this and move on. Because actually if I lose now, I fall all the way back to before we built the raft. Maybe further. I, I should have saved over after the dungeon was beaten. Not a good time to think about that. Okay, now we have bombs. There is one more area. Okay, let's give this guy the seedling. Let's blow him up. No. Um. I really like this part. And ta-da, tree! Yeah, I come back in like 400 years. Okay, I still need the damn flippers, and I need the damn... The shovel ain't gonna get me anywhere. No, 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 not the hoop. No, stop giving me the hoop. Misnaming things, by the way, is also a uh, thing Sabrosians do. Uh, better one known is they sell you a giant peach, which is a heart container that's flipped upside down. Okay, I have a feather now. Blue open that wall. Oh, no, wait. Now I'll blow open the wall. Now, you don't have the flippers yet, so I can still die. Well, I can still drown. Not necessary, though. Yes, you should. Jerks. I don't know which is worse. These jerks or the pinzas from, uh... Super Mario Sunshine. You must retrieve our shine sprites. Oh, we have most of them, by the way. Actually, since it's out, uh, I've been remade, I find that Hunter, the cheetah, from Spyro 3 is absolutely the worst. You're looking for dragon eggs that instantly hatch when you find them, and he refuses to hand them over unless you do some sort of 
race with the guy. I'm like, uh, you're on my side this time. Hand over the egg. <laughs> At least this guy's just better business. Also, a bit more fun. You get to put this guy out of business when you finish this thing up. Okay, now we have the power bracelets and the slip flippers, so we can go back to that first one. The second one, we can actually go back to both. Which order do I wish to do this in? Okay, kill the lever. Let's go with the upper one. Here, underwater. That ain't gonna work, because I think we have to jump. Nope. No, we don't. Although we do now, so hopefully I'm not stuck in an unwinnable position here. Okay. Lift boulder. No! One more time. Do, 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 do. That's not the Mario Underwater song I'm thinking about. Whoops! Now I'm gonna be wondering that all day. What is it? Anyway, this gives you back your scent seeds and your element oh, so your seedling satchels. Your seed satchels! Oh my god! Oh, I hope that wasn't important. I'm trying to remember if you could sell any of the seeds or they had to be sent seeds. Oh yeah, he wanted mystery seeds for something, didn't he? Shovel. I mean, I got one outside the Dark Tower, or the Black Tower, I'm pretty sure we can easily go and get another one. Although it's my mistake, isn't it Dark Tower the name of a Stephen King book? Okay, we go this way. And into the water this time. Yeah, even if I tried going this way earlier, you'd need to jump later. Right here. Jump. Over and up. Okay, you give me back my heart. Why hide? I've already had to fight hiding. Had to fight fairies that hid in the woods. Okay. Oh, I guess I do need the shovel. That's not good. And I can't swim back. Whoop. But I can take this shortcut. I didn't lie at the beginning, I really missed the days when you could just go from one dungeon to the other and not have to do any of this stuff. So we need scent seeds to buy the shovel from the, or the hoop from the Toki. The wild Toke game is now just a, uh... Oh, shoot. Well, the seed's planted. Uh, it's a museum for the wild Toki game. I want to say it's a part of the, the item training quest. You can also go in here and see fully grown Kokuo. I'm not going to attack them with a sword today to think if they're going to maul me. We'll just assume, yeah, they'll probably maul you. 
Ah, uh, that's what happens when they're not lined up. Uh-oh. Island shifted so much. Hey, that doesn't help right now. Your tune echoes in vain. There's the dungeon. I am screwed because I didn't move that seedling back. Ugh. Or that seedling back. more time with feeling. Actually, if the dungeon's in the other time period, I clearly need to go back and forth at least two more times. It's all my fault for not handling it. When I had it. Also, probably my fault for not, you know, just skipping over the overworld sections, but we'll... We'll ignore that problem right now. Why did I come back in here? Here we are. That one back. Go all the way back to the front of the island. Or the back of the island. Should have a shortcut. some heart containers during these segments, but nope, got nothing, so I'm going in with six to the next dungeon. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Great, all this way, for what I'm sure, it's a stupid gosh of season. Okay, yep. You know, I just was complaining that I don't do get the heart containers. Probably should plant some of those, as I know at least one heart piece is within the trees. I just remember this segment's like the worst. Like, it could have done half of this much padding. Okay, let's just punch down some scent seeds. There was an item in the first Zelda game called Meat. You mostly had to use it to uh, attract or distract a guard of some dungeons. They're in some rooms. This is annoying. Uh, they could also be used by planting them in the middle of the room and attract all the enemies towards them. I never found that useful. Although, for this challenge, I might have to uh, go back on that. See, so yeah, that's what the Sense Seeds do. They attract all the enemies to its location. Also, the scent seeds are very hard. So, if you have like a shooting item to uh, use them with, they will deal a lot of damage to enemies. The mystery seeds deal strange damage, and the ember seeds can burn. There are two more seeds that we haven't seen yet. Uh, and I guess we'll get to them at a later day. I don't really feel like Spoiling much. Other than, the other than the fact I'm going the wrong way. Oh no, I'm not. We have to go down here again and <sighs> go through all this.
You know, I guess I can't really lie about one thing, though. At least the next dungeon that we're going to has one of the nicer names of all the Zelda dungeons. This could have been Crescent Island Dungeon. No, they went with Moonlit Grotto. I don't remember anything else about the dungeon, so we're in for a treat. But, you know, still, Moonlit Grotto. Well, it's because it's on Crescent Moon Island. Okay. All we have to do is head up, chase the crabs on the beach, and go into the giant toke up there. There it is. That's the story for next time. Level 3, the Moonlit Grotto. See you then.